that's probably the best part you can just stop watching now please don't I'm going to keep the commentary brief I don't have much to say about this as you may or may not be able to tell my voice is uh, worse than usual you know I had a kind of new year thing to use less sarcasm but whenever people say oh have you heard this cold going around has anybody else got it and I think no it's it's only you nobody else has it maybe we should call this flu season okay that's me done there let's actually talk about the model Just back at my usual spot, east of Kirkubri, south of Kirgunyan, west of Cockerbush, and not to be confused with the same named place in Glasgow. You know, I've actually plugged my channel to a few folk down there, so I wonder if they're watching. So this is a Bexel ground effect vehicle, which is very surprising for my channel, isn't it? Sorry, no, no more sarcasm. I've been wanting to experiment a bit more with the power assisted RAM and particularly variable power assist. I've tried a few things involving movable flaps which were not particularly successful. I mean I've got a whole model which was based on that concept but I've kind of stopped that development as well. The propellers which are currently on here do allow this to fly. It's actually not terrible out of ground effect. I mean it's a bit strange in that it's rudder only but there's no dihedral as such. I mean the outer wings do flex up a fair bit under load and I think it's a kind of swept enough plan form that it more or less flies correctly but slightly odd. Landings are a little bit tricky. I've been practicing just bringing the motors to the right angle and powering them up so that Ideally, you plop gracefully back onto an air cushion, not just slam it off the ground and break it, which has never happened. Sorry, sarcasm again. The earlier development of this had the motors mounted higher up, which was a mistake. The side walls were rigidly attached and ended up breaking and they'd kind of flop about the place. And I kind of noticed actually when they were half broken, taped back together, they didn't really break further. So the current side walls are actually hinged and there's an, just a very simple elastic band which holds them on. So if they get caught, it just pivots as such rather than ripping the thing apart. It doesn't make it indestructible, but it's much more tolerant of getting hung up on the ground, especially down this beach and you see how much stuff there is everywhere. I've been trying to get it to just sit neatly in ground effect, which is not as easy as it first seems. I'm going to make a statement here which is it's very difficult to get a model scale ground effect vehicle to run only on forward ram pressure. If I dig through my archives and bring up this old design, the propellers have nothing to do with generating an air cushion, they're just for thrust. This will run only on the air cushion provided by forward motion, but the speed required is pretty high. If you're thinking, yeah, you could probably have some sort of movable flap. Yeah, I've tried and I've had some success. As it is, this one runs better with the motors at round about this angle, so it's a partial power-assisted ram feed, partial direct thrust. This model does have an elevator and a stabiliser. I've said in the past I don't think a ground effect vehicle really needs an elevator. On the basis, if it's truly in ground effect, all of your stabilisation for pitch, roll and height should all be done by the ground cushion without any active control. That said, I did caveat that an elevator is useful for kind of pitch trim, which it is on this. I've got a bigger version of this which stabilises quite nicely without any elevator. If you're thinking, do you need the elevator to fly out of ground effect? Do you need it? No, I actually flew early versions of this just using the power assisted RAM as a kind of impromptu thrust vectoring elevator. Don't recommend it, but it worked. I think I'm about out of things to say in my throat, certainly voicing an objection, quite literally. So I'll maybe just leave you with a bit more video. I don't expect much more activity on the channel to be honest, I'm kinda winding this down. Not entirely, but 
Don't be expecting that it uploads anything like as frequently as I used to do. I've got this uh, other project on the go which you might be seeing a bit more of over the coming couple of weeks. Look out for it.